see I'm taking the air handler out. The motor out of the air handler. <laughs> oh man. Watch my feet. Okay. Okay, as you can see, this is the workspace. And he's pulling the motor out and I don't know what's going to happen after that. Um, Got to work on it, try to figure out what broke down. And this should be interesting, so we will get back to you. I'm just trying to clear the, the lines running down, but I don't think it's going to clear. It's not looking good. What do you think? Pretty shitty job. It's a big puzzle. Okay. Okay. Got the uh, fan assembly out and uh, pulled the variable speed controller from the bottom of the motor. And already I see indications of... Uh, condensation or moisture damage right there. The uh, housing up there was clean, everything was spotless. This had to be condensation because there was no kind of water in there. So I'm going to pull the circuit board out and see what's going on underneath. Okay. Okay, just lifted off the circuit board and yeah, you can see some condensation damage to these pins on the uh, input jack. And we have a lot of uh, moisture damage I guess. I'm going to say condensation because there was no water or anything dripping in here but that's clearly the problem why the fan wasn't hitting hundred percent. So we're going to replace this and I hope that takes care of that and uh, got some issues trying to get the uh, fan motor out because uh, I got a lot of rust on the shaft up in the uh, the uh, fan blade uh, shaft on the motor, a lot of rust, so it's going to be tough to get that off. So, all right, but yeah, there were some issues here. This is uh, four years old. Okay. Okay, here's the blower assembly. Um, everything's clean. The fins hardly had any dust on it. We keep the filters in here really super clean. And uh, the system looked it. I mean, everything in the air handler was good. So the only problem is we have condensation issue on this shaft only. There's no signs of any kind of moisture in the cabinet. It's just on this motor shaft. And I had sprayed this down with WD-40 two days now. You can see I tried to center drill um, a dimple in the center of that. I made a puller to go over that uh, sleeve right there, sleeve down over, and, and try to pull it off. This thing is on there tight not sure how I'm going to get it off. I might have to sawzall this fan out of there so I don't damage the housing. So uh, anyway, that's the issue. Um, everything looks good except for the rust on, on this and uh, the condensation in that control box. So okay, that's it. I'll let you know how I make out. Okay, here's the new parts. There's the new uh, variable speed control from the bottom of the motor and we're replacing the motor at the same time. Uh, because of the condensation damage that we found in the bottom, I pulled the end cap off the motor and there's some rust in there and that's probably the noise. The bearings were fine. I didn't think it was the bearings. They felt too good. I think there was rust on the armature and that was probably giving us some rumble when it was spinning. But my, I have a glitch here because uh, Train and um, Gentech told me how to check this motor and I got an installation guide also with it and I checked the motor up in the air handler and it didn't check like they said so um, I checked the windings between each other in the one up in the air handler and that seemed to be consistent between each other but this test that in the installation guide this is the one right here it says to test the motor as follows. Use a standard ohmmeter and um, test the resistance of each motor lead, red, black, and blue, to the motor shell. I did that. 
I didn't get anything. I tried it over and over again. Uh, it said the resistance should be greater than one, 100k ohms. Any motor lead that fails, do not proceed to install the electronic module. And I'm not sure because uh, the new one tested the same. So, I mean, uh, between the wires, they, they were all consistent on the winding, so so did the one upstairs in the handler. So I'm not sure about this test unless I'm misunderstanding it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swap out the control module first. And I want to fire it up with the original motor, even though I'm going to change it. I want to see if that rumble was caused by this control or by something in the motor. So anyway, I'm going to do that today and I'll let you know my findings but uh, I guess we're ready to go okay and train was really great I gotta say they they the company really helped me over the phone called me back um, and got the parts really quickly so uh, I'm happy with everything so alright let you know how we make out okay just went up today and installed the new uh, control module up in the air handler and uh, that was the problem. Uh, boosted up to speed, running good, no noise. So apparently this is the deal. This caused all the grief. Now I'm going to replace the motor anyway because there was some uh, moisture issues in here. You could see some rust on the armature and I got the new motor but I wanted to replace this first uh, just to see if I can uh, narrow it down to what was making the noise so this was actually making a mechanical sounding noise with that motor and I was able to uh, get this out without pulling the blower housing out again um, when you unscrew the screws you're gonna have to put a piece of cardboard or something down on the bottom of the insulation so the screws don't drop down and rip the insulation and uh, it, it's enough room to get your hand in there and unplug this and uh, I got it out and swapped it no problem now I, uh, another problem I have is how did the condensation get in there well the foil on the insulation in the air handler especially on the bottom was deteriorated you could see the yellow insulation right through it so uh, I don't know how or why that happened because this is only four years old so uh, I cut out the insulation on the bottom, which was soaked, and um, replaced it. I actually put a sheet of uh, quarter-inch dowel board down on the bottom, and then I put the insulation on top of it and, and taped it in. So we'll see if that takes care of the uh, moisture issues in this thing. So, all right, we're up and running, but yeah, this thing here was uh, making a noise. It sounded like bearings, but again, if you take those bearings in that motor and spin this shaft and it spins smooth like that, it's not the bearings. I mean, it's pretty obvious. So anyway, I, I was pretty surprised that this thing could make such a mechanical sound, but I hope this uh, helps someone out in the field that is getting the same kind of symptom uh, because this was a pretty distinct sound. So uh, anyway, we're up and running. It's running really good. Uh, new insulation, new controller, new uh, motor going in, and we should be good to go. Uh, train was great with me. I called Gentex with questions on the motor. Their tech team was good. And Lion Conklin got the uh, parts for me really fast. So everybody treated me really good in this mess. And uh, I guess I'm good to go again. All right. Good luck with your systems. See ya.